In this video, we'll explore how you can teach an AI model to complete tasks in your native language. Let's go. Hey folks, welcome to Build with Google AI, where we explore how you can build practical solutions with Google AI technology. Generative artificial intelligence is pretty awesome, but not being able to use it in your native language makes it a lot less convenient. Thankfully, there's a way that you can solve this. Google's Gemma models are published with open weights, which means you can adapt them to your language to solve lots of interesting problems. But what does it take to actually tune a Gemma model to work in your language? And how do you get that model to handle tasks, like replying to emails, in that language? Well, a couple of colleagues and I on the AI Developer Relations team got together to tackle this challenge, and we'll share what we built and what we learned so you can tune a Gemma model to work in your language. The Kmail Replier app generates responses to customer emails for a fictitious Korean bakery business. Here's a quick demo of the project. This web app uses a version of the Gemma AI model that's tuned to handle customer emails in the Korean language. And the model also responds in Korean. You use this application by entering the text of customer emails, such as cake orders. You can paste email text here, or load an email from a file. To generate a response to this cake request email, I can select this Compose Response button. Behind the scenes, the application sends the text of the email and some additional instructions, all in Korean, to the Tune Gemma model. The model generates a response, also in Korean, and sends it back to the application. All this is happening on a single virtual machine, and no customer data is being sent to third party services or APIs. Gemma models running on the same server as part of the web application, so the data stays private on that server. All right, we've got a suggested reply to this customer's cake request. Let's use this button to copy the response to the clipboard. Let's take a peek at this response in English for those of us who don't read Korean. Not bad. What's cool about this approach is that I don't have to do separate translation steps to English and back to Korean to use this Gemma model it handles the request and the reply in the user's language. In addition, you can modify the application by changing the prompt instructions for the Gemma model or tuning the model to make it better at performing those tasks, like writing email responses, or make it more fluent in your user's language, or both. Before we get into that, let's talk to the developers of this project and have them explain how it works. All right. I'm joined today by the key contributors to the KML Responder Project and members of the AI Developer Relations team, Jetta Chan and Ji Young Chi. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us, Joe. We're excited to be here. So my first question is, why build this? If you already know how to write and work in another language like Korean, like why would you teach an AI model to do that for you? Right. So one of the big reasons to take an AI model like Gemma and tune it for a spoken language is that it can make operating it faster and smoother for the end user. Instead of having to translate prompts into English, send it off to an AI model, and then translate the response back, you can just interact directly with the model. We also wanted to demonstrate that you don't have to fully tune a Gemma model in your target language in order for it to be useful. If you have a specific task in mind, like wanting it to help answer certain kinds of emails or reply to specific kinds of questions for customer service, you don't need to do extensive tuning. You can actually train the model specifically for that task in your target language and get AI-powered help for just that task with a lot less development effort. All right, so next question. How do you actually train the Gemma model to perform tasks in Korean? 우선 여기서 우리가 이야기하고 있는 것은 젠마 AI 모델의 튜닝 또는 미세 조정입니다. 젠마 2 모델은 주로 영어 데이터 세트로 학습되었지만 한국어를 포함한 어느 정도의 다국어 기능을 가지고 있습니다. 즉, 우리 애플리케이션은 출발점에서 이미 어느 정도 앞서 시작하는 것을 뜻하며 이러한 다국어 기능은 영어 이외의 언어로 젠마를 조정하는 것을 더 쉽게 만들어줍니다. 모델 조정의 핵심은 데이터입니다. 우리의 경우 빵집 비즈니스에서 받을 수 있는 요청에 대한 답변에 초점을 맞춘 한국어 데이터 세트가 필요했습니다. 실제 비즈니스를 운영한다면 고객의 질문과 답변을 수집하고 익명화하여 학습 데이터로 사용할 수 있을 것입니다. 경험상 10개에서 20개의 데이터 상으로 모델의 동작을 크게 변화시킬 수 있었습니다. 고품질 응답을 위해서는 총 200개 정도의 요청 및 응답상이 좋은 목표지만 훨씬 적은 양으로도 가능합니다. 결국 조정에 필요한 데이터의 양은 모델의 동작을 얼마나 형성하고 싶은지에 달려 있습니다. 
작게 시작하여 필요한 동작을 얻을 때까지 학습 데이터를 추가하는 것이 좋습니다. 모델을 조정하는 데 사용하는 데이터를 선별하고 검증하는 것도 중요합니다. 다양한 주제, 주제에 접근하는 다양한 방식, 주제에 대한 다양한 수준의 세부 정보를 다루는 질문들을 확보해야 합니다. 또한 대상 언어의 문화적 특성을 고려하는 것도 중요합니다. 우리 프로젝트의 경우 응답이 정중하고 도움이 되도록 하는 데 중점을 두었습니다. 데이터가 준비되면 CAS 및 JAX 프레임워크를 사용하여 조정하고 반복할 수 있습니다. 소량의 데이터로 시작하여 조정, 테스트하고 만족스러운 응답을 얻을 수 있을 때까지 이 과정을 반복합니다. Okay, so next question. If I want to extend this project, how do I go about doing that? There are two main paths you can take to extend the project. First, by changing the application itself. You can make some changes to the user interface, and you can make some changes to how the model itself operates. Specifically, you can modify the prompt that's sent to the Gemma model to provide different instructions or guidance. For example, you could change the prompt to direct the model to use a specific style or tone for the email replies, you know, make them more formal or casual, or even pr provide brand new instructions. That method is the quickest way to modify the behavior and output of the Gemma model for this application. The second, deeper path, is to tune the Gemma model for your application as we discussed previously. For this, you'll need to gather a few, a few examples of the behavior you want from the model, meaning a set of request and response pairs that show a request and high quality response. You can then use the Keras and JAX ML development frameworks to do tuning with that data and generate new weights for the Gemma model. When you're satisfied with the output from your tuned model, you can then export your weights, install them into the instance of Gemma you're using for your application and get different output from the model. Okay, so last question. What would you like folks to get out of this project? 전 세계 개발자 커뮤니티가 젠마를 다양한 언어로 조정하는 것에 기대가 되고 가슴이 벅찹니다. 모든 사람들이 자신의 모국어로 젠마를 사용하여 문제를 해결하는 세상을 상상해 보세요. 저희는 개발자들에게 힘을 실어주고 각자의 모국어로 작동하는 젠마 버전을 만들 수 있도록 지원하고 싶습니다. 저희가 만든 것을 기반으로 개발을 진행할 수 있도록 최대한 접근성을 높이려고 노력했습니다. 나아가 젠마와 같은 AI 모델이 사용자의 모국으로 작동하는 것은 매우 가치 있는 일이라고 생각합니다. 장벽을 제거하고 기술을 널리 쓰일 수 있도록 만들어줍니다. 궁극적으로 저희는 전 세계 사람들이 AI를 효과적으로 사용하고 문제를 해결하며 삶을 개선하는 것을 보고 싶습니다. 그리고 이 프로젝트가 그 방향으로 나아가는 한 걸음이 되기를 희망합니다. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for being here. 감사합니다. Thanks, Joe. Always a pleasure. It's coding time. Let's look at how you can extend the KML Replier project to create a Gemma AI-powered app for your business and in your language. Don't worry about taking notes. There's a detailed tutorial linked in the description. Here's the code for the KML Replier project. This folder contains the code for tuning the Gemma model for this task in Korean. And this folder contains the code for running the application. The simplest way to extend the KML Replier project is to modify the prompt instructions that guide the AI model on how to handle the email data. You can modify those instructions in the app code file in this get prompt function. Let's add an instruction to emphasize that the response should be polite. I'm going to need a little help to say that in Korean though. Okay, let's add this to the prompt instructions. Another way to modify the project is to tune the Gemma model for your language and for the tasks you want it to be able to perform. The code for tuning the project's model is located in this folder. This tuning project is set up to generate an instruction tuned model of Gemma. It includes a data set with requests and response pairs in Korean. To extend this model for your application, you'll need to track down or create a data set in your target language with about 20 records to start with. You can create a data set for any language and for any task you want help with. For convenience, we've hosted this project data set in this repository. Remember, your tuning data set should have a good amount of variety based on the types of tasks you want to handle and the different ways that folks might word their requests. This function runs the Gemma model tuning with the data set. It uses the Keras NLP library to tune the model with a low rank adapter or LoRa technique to generate the new model weights. 
run the training by executing this tune model script. You should run this tuning process on a computer that has a graphics processing unit, GPU hardware, or a tensor processing unit, TPU, with sufficient memory to hold the existing model plus the tuning data. To run the tuning configuration in this project, you'll need about 16 gigabytes of GPU memory and about the same amount of regular RAM. Now we'll speed up this process through the magic of editing. Great. Now we've got a bunch of new weights for this Gemma model. We only need one of these, so we'll pick this one, which has a pretty good accuracy rate. You don't want the accuracy rate to be too high because then the model can overfit the training data and get worse at handling new data. Let's copy this set of weights over to the application. Finally, let's rerun the application and see how it operates. Let's fast forward this a bit and check the output. Okay, not bad. There's a lot more detail and guidance on how to do the tuning process in the written tutorial, which is linked below. So let's wrap this up. And that's all the time I have to tell you about this AI-powered, language-specific email responder project. Thanks to my guests, Jetha Chan and Chu Yong Ji from the AI Developer Relations team for building and sharing this project. Links to the code and a detailed tutorial on how to extend the project are in the description. If you get Gemma working with another language and task, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you build your own Gemma applications and apply the power of generative AI to solving problems in your language. So keep learning, keep building, make something great. We'll see you again soon.